Traditionally, when you work with the SOTWORKS desktop, um, you start by launching SOTWORKS and then you open uh, the files, the SOTWORKS data that you save within the folders on the Windows system. So you open either a PAC file, a drawing file, or an assembly file. In 3D experience, things change slightly. Uh, you don't have folder anymore, but you have uh, a 3D space. And that 3D space is a huge database that we save everything within that 3D space. 3D space is part of the collaborative uh, industry innovator. Um, so you have a lot of data within this. So it's not that easy to find out which one belongs to which one. So we use a bookmark. I use a lot of bookmark when it comes to uh, software design data, part assembly, uh, drawing a component. So I save the top assembly within one bookmark, and then can I have uh, another bookmark within that bookmark? Where do I save my uh, component of that particular assembly? So here, for example, I have uh, one assembly. It has two configuration, uh, one family product. So I save in uh, one bookmark called Gearbox. So to work, usually I use the Product Explorer. So Product Explorer is one of the apps that belong to also the CSV or Collaborative Industry Innovator. Um, when you open that uh, assembly with Product Explorer, you have the preview of the assembly, and then you have also the list of all the components that belong to that assembly. Um, before you work on uh, any of the components, what you would do is you uh, drag that component to a uh, collaborative uh, life cycle. So it's allow you to check whether this component is reserved by somebody else and what is the life cycle of that component. For this case, the life cycle of that component it does in work. So I will check the relationship. By checking the relationship, I will know who, uh, which assembly is actually used uh, this component. So I make sure whether the change that I will do affect uh, any other assembly or not. So open the um, relation of that particular component. I can see that uh, it's actually, uh, it has two parents. Uh, let's see the parents. And then that parents, of course, yeah, that's the two different configuration of the same assembly. And if I take uh, one of the assembly, I would know that uh, that assembly is actually um, has been bookmarked. And the same thing that that component is also bookmarked. So that assembly is actually uh, part of the CAD products, but also it's a bookmark um, as a bookmark called Gearbox. So I'm pretty much sure that now if I need to work on that uh, cover plate, um, I won't affect any of the, the other design. So to open um, the assembly, uh, or this particular component is very easy. Um, I use the traditional drag and drop, but we are all familiar with SOTWORKS desktop. So I will drag that component from the browser to uh, SOTWORKS connected. Uh, which is an app that run um, on the side. So very easy, very intuitive as well. Um, then you will see that is the the SOLIDWORKS part, SLDPRT, that's open. And then uh, you access to uh, the 3D space on the test panel as well. 